Lesson 21, Complex Sprite Movement. Question of the day, how can previous blocks be combined in new patterns to make interesting movements? Okay, I don't know what that means, so let's move on. Velocity and the counter pattern. Using the counter pattern with the sprite's X and Y property makes a sprite move smoothly across the screen. In this program, the counter pattern is being used with the sprite.velocityx property instead. The counter pattern is being used with the sprite. Hmm. Okay. What do you think will happen when the code is run? Why? Once you're ready, you can run the code to find out. All right, let's look. All right, so velocityx. Oh, okay. I think I remember this concept. Um, so I think what's going to happen is this sprite is going to, uh, so it's a positive X, so it's going to move from left to right, and it's going to get faster as it uh, moves. It moves left to right. Okay. Yeah, that's what looks like it's happening. Okay. All right, cool. So we were correct. Okay, exercise three, velocity in the counter pattern. This program already makes a car move across the screen, but it's going very slowly. By using the sprite.velocityx property with the counter pattern, you can change the sprite's speed during the program. Do this. Use the counter pattern with the sprite's velocity x property to make the car speed up. Okay, so it says show me where, so they want us to put the code right there. I am not even going to give you the answer here because if you go back to exercise two, you're literally doing the exact same thing. Okay, so um, here. So look at line four. Okay, sprite one dot velocity x equals sprite one dot velocity x plus point one. You need to put that exact line of code here. Okay, yes, you do have to change something, but I will let you know, or I mean, I will let you figure out what you have to change. Okay, so let's move on to exercise four. Okay, falling rock. The rock should speed up as it falls down the screen. Do this. Use the counter pattern with the sprite's y velocity to make the rock speed up as it falls. Okay, guys, this is exactly the same as exercise two and three, but the only thing you're going to change is you're going to copy this line of code on um, line four. And the way you can do that, by the way, is go to text mode and then you can copy it. But what you're going to do is you're going to change the X to a Y. So it's going to be velocity Y and is plus, I think positive, yeah, positive makes it move down. So you don't even need to change the positive to a negative. It's going to stay positive. Okay and then you have to change the name of the sprite okay so use the counter pattern make the speed up as it falls okay so i'm not going to go over exercise four with you exercise five okay i'm going to start exercise five i think i'm going to do this this might give you some answers to um to the previous exercises but that's okay so i think i'm going to copy this code from line four of level or exercise two i'm going to move my cursor down i'm going to put it here uh what's the name of the sprite car and it says here to change it to 0.25 I think we're going to need a negative 0.25. Yeah, that didn't help at all. Um, so yeah, we need to change it to a negative to make it, to prevent it from hitting the water. Cool. Slow the car down by 0.25 as it moves across the screen. So it started reversing. Okay, so that's exercise five. Now moving on to exercise six. Okay, so exercise 6A. 
Okay, rising bubble. This program makes a bubble rise up the water. Can you make it get faster as it rises? Do this. Use the counter pattern and the sprite's y velocity to make the bubble move up more quickly. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is exactly what we needed to do in um, level four. Let's take a look. Okay, guys, so in exercise four, you were supposed to do uh, the counter pattern with rock dot velocity y with a positive number. The only difference in exercise six is that it's going to be a negative number. See how it's set to a negative number? So you can copy the code from exercise two, line four, but in exercise six, you're going to change it so that it's um, dot velocity y dot velocity y and it is going to be a negative number okay I don't want to give you the answer for this because it's very easy and it's very repetitive all of these exercises are the same thing so let's take a look at 6b 6b slow down and reverse slow down and reverse in this animation a mouse runs past the cat Oh, it runs past the cat. Let's change it so that the mouse slows down, stops before reaching the cat, then reverses direction, like shown to the right. Note the current x velocity of the mouse sprite. Okay, note the current velocity of the mouse sprite. Okay, it's negative 20. Um, use the counter pattern to change the velocity so that it approaches zero, then changes direction. Hint. Since the mouse starts with a negative velocity, you'll actually want to increase it to slow it down. So keep the um, velocity as a negative up here, but in the draw loop, you're going to make it a positive. And guys, this is actually the, um, the exercise that I did do with you here. Let me X out of these. So open exercise three in a new tab. And this is the only exercise I'm, I did with you, I'm pretty sure. So you're going to borrow the code from this. I'm sorry, it was actually exercise five that I was thinking of that I did with you. So look, remember how the car stops before the water? This is the same concept. But look, the car is start, it starts to move to the right, then it slows down and reverses to the left. So we're literally just doing the opposite. It starts, the mouse starts on the right and then reverses to the, or starts moving to the left, and then it reverses to the right. So what is a coder's best friend? Copy and paste, guys. So literally, copy this code, paste it in here, and how are we going to reverse it? The operator, okay? We're going to change the operator to a positive, okay? So that is the answer to exercise 6B. Exercise 7, so... um. Usually I don't give hints on these assessment opportunities, but I'm going to since I have kind of been making you do it on by yourself this whole uh, lesson. So it looks like gravity. The rock is thrown in the air, but it never falls back down. Do this. Use the code you practice to make the rock slow down and then fall. Try different numbers in your counter pattern to see what you like the best based on looks. Okay, so I'm opening number five back up in a new tab because this is literally the same thing, okay? All we're going to do is we're going to change velocity.x to velocity.y, and I'll show you what I mean as soon as this pops up. Okay, so we're going to steal this code from line 13. We're going to paste it in here. And we're going to change this car to rock. And then we're also going to change velocity x to velocity y. Okay? And so let's see. The velocity y starts as a negative here. So in the draw loop, you're going to want to make it a positive. Okay? So um, do I want to show you? I do not want to show you. Okay, so that's how you do that, and it's, it's literally the same thing as exercise 6B. It's just that the mouse isn't reversing that way. It's a rock, and it's reversing that way. Instead of reversing um, left to right, it's reversing up to down. Okay, same idea. So let's move on to the challenges. 
Awesome. And I'm going to do these challenges with you. So 8A, curve. Make the plane curve to avoid the two spikes. If you guys have played Floppy Bird, this is the same concept. Hey, cutie. Hey, cutie. Oh man, I was talking to my baby as the video started. Sorry about that. Anyway, curve. The plane is going up to avoid the first spike, but it flies off the screen. So let's see. In the draw loop, update its, its Y velocity so that it pulls down to avoid the second spike. Do this. Update the Y velocity in the draw loop so that it moves down uh, the plane down. Hint, the velocity starts as negative going up to go down. What direction should the velocity be? Positive to answer that. You may change the initial x and y velocity of the plane, but you don't have to. Okay, so there's a negative 9 y velocity and a positive 3 x velocity. So guys, I can't emphasize this enough. We're just going to steal code, or not steal. It's really not steal. It's copying and pasting, and it's just um, it's borrowing code from your previous. It's, it's like you, you're building a library, okay? A library of code that you can reference uh, okay so is this a plane yeah the plane so plane plane and we're gonna want to make the X a Y so if if you were having trouble with the earlier exercises this is going to um, <clears throat> this basically is showing you the answers to to uh, previous exercises. So I made this a positive and the velocity y is a negative 9, so we're going to change this to let's let's go positive 9 and see how that goes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here, let's see. Um the plane is going to then it flies off the screen. Hmm. Okay, so no, that's too strong. So let's just make this uh 1. That's why it's pulling it down. Ha, huh, even that's too strong. So I guess we're going to have to do 0.25. And this might even be too strong. All right. Ah, yeah, that's a little too strong. So I'm going to go with 0.2, just 0.2. And that should look better. You want it to look good. Ah, perfect. Excellent. Okay, let's move on to 8B. 8B deceleration, make the car slow to a halt before it goes past the top of the screen. Deceleration, make the car slow to a halt before it goes past the top of the screen. In the draw loop, update the car's Y velocity so that it slows down. Use a conditional to prevent the car from moving backwards after it stops. Okay, make the Y velocity more downward, prevent the car. So I am going to borrow this same code, guys. So copy it. Control C on your keyboard. Uh, it's not working. I guess I have to highlight it again. Control C. Paste with Control. Oh, you know what? I just accidentally pasted it up here. No, I didn't. Okay. So move your cursor down. All right, cool. And is this a car again? Yes, the car. So we don't even need to change the name of this, um, but we do need to change it to a Y. And I think positive because it moves it down. Uh, okay, let's see. Is that doing something? Okay, so it did slow it down. Um, but to prevent the car from moving backwards, we're going to have to do a conditional, which I'm thinking will be uh, if uh, car dot y. Oh, no. Hold on. Let me think about this. OK, so if car dot y is greater than 40, then we're going to make the velocity zero. So if car car dot y is great or not less than 40 I, I had to type that in and so you probably have to type that in too then we're going to make car dot velocity zero and this should work let's see my video time is running out ah okay close enough 
All right, great. You can tweak that to your liking.